Hi everyone, I'm Glenn, a third year student uh, from FinTech program. Um, I was asked to give a five minute sharing about um, what, what things that I encounter during my uh, three year studies. And because the time is quite short, so maybe I will just use one adjective to describe what I have experienced right now. And the adjective that I would like to use is flexible. And um, in terms of flexible, what I mean is very flexible in terms of course offering and also job hunting. So I think compared to others, we are quite flexible uh, and, and not like others. Let's say, for example, statistics. Uh, for statistics major students, uh, most of the major requirement is finance or statistic related stuff. And for the elective course, it's also uh, statistics, but more advanced statistics. But that's completely different for fintech students. Um, just like us, uh, maybe you guys have heard from uh, Professor Lee uh, in, in the previous sharing. We have legal courses. Um, we have, um, of course, the fundamental engineering and coding computer science course and finance and business course and also economic course. So from that, you can see that we offer a variety of uh, courses to you guys so that you can build a foundation for your future career path. And um, one flagship course that we offer is a, is, is a practicum course. And that is offered by our professor of practice, CK, uh, Professor CK Chen, who is previously the CIO of HSBC. And he has a lot of connection in the industry. So he organized a courses for me so that we can connect with industry player, uh, for example, from HSBC, of course, and from Standard Chartered or from, from Amazon. Uh, through his connection, we got to meet many people in the industry and to know uh, uh, what fits us uh, in, in, our, uh, in our studies. So uh, that's very flexible for our course offering. And secondly, uh, that's very flexible for your job hunt as well. Um, just like me, uh, actually for my uh, first year, I work in a business development department as an internship student in a virtual bank. And last year, I work in Hyton International to build a sentiment analysis index, which is more like on the tech side. And for the first year, I'm more like work in the business side. So um, in terms of job hunts, like you can, you, you, you can flip around. Sometimes if, if that, right, that, that, that's a little trick. If, if that job uh, want to take computer science students, then FinTech students can also get in. Can, you, you can get past the, the, the filtering part. If that job is asking for like a business or uh, finance students, as a fintech student, usually you can also uh, get uh, get past the the, the filtering uh, sessions. So it gives you a lot of advantages when it compared to other students. Um, so um, so th that's what I mean. Flexible in terms of course offering and also job hunting. But um, well, um, suppose I. I Suppose I'm going to share, but I, it, it seems like I'm a salesperson of, of this fintech uh, program. Uh, maybe I can share a little bit downside about this program. Um, for me, I think, as I said, that is very flexible. So of course, you, you encounter a lot of choices and a lot of opportunities. And that choices can lead to either bad outcome or good outcome. So you have to, you have to encounter a lot of uh, decision making in, in, in your four years of studies. And uh, if you just want to st study for four years according to the syllabus and then got a decent job after your graduation, then maybe it will be better for you to apply for such as medicine or, or, or nursing. But um, for me, I think FinTech program will offer you a lot of opportunities and a lot of uh, business opportunity that you, you, you can grasp. And that's something that I would say about fintech and um, that's pretty much that I, I'm going to share but um, from, from uh, and, and next I think Stephen and Jade will share about the internship experience and uh, I, I think I'm the only Jupiter student who got um, admitted uh, here uh, so if you guys have questions about Jupiter's admission you just feel free to ask me after uh, after the sharing thanks everyone 
Lian for sharing about what it is like to be a fintech student. My sharing topic is how fintech program facilitates my internship with my own experience. I am Jade, currently a third year student from fintech program. What I have learned from my internship experience is the knowledge I have learned from fintech program can actually facilitate my internship. I still remember I took a course related to financial engineering on my second year. During that course, we learned how to apply finance knowledge into a lot of technical projects. And last summer, I was in Haitung International Securities Limited. Um, it is a co-supervised internship program by our department and Haitung International. I still remember that during the interview, the interviewer who turned out to be like my later supervisor, was very interested in the chatable prototype we did in the financial engineering course. I guess this is also part of the reasons that why I got admitted to my last internship program. I was in the risk management department and working with the risk methodology group at Haitung International Securities Limited. And during my 12 weeks internship program, what is the most rewarding part is when I finally find that my knowledge learned in our FinTech program are especially useful. For example, I had a better understanding about how financial institutions apply those risk management techniques in their daily operations and what type of statistical methods can be adopted in those risk management. And I also apply what I have learned from those programming causes, finance causes, and a lot of mathematical causes in my internship. So this is the most rewarding experience I have ever had during my internship program. And also because of our math and computer science background, we can do a lot more works, which needs a lot of programming skills in those financial institutions. I also learned quite a lot from my internship itself because we, we can learn a lot of techniques from those class, but some other resources, for example, those actual data samples, they still come from those real organizations and playing with these finance data are especially rewarding and the experience itself deepened my understanding of using those statistical concepts and the patterns from the data and the prediction results from the model all motivates me to learn more about the whole field. So the key FinTech program benefits me is I gradually realized that I have the ability to learn a lot, to gather a lot of resources by myself through the online courses and from the my mathematical foundations and from a lot of the programming knowledge I have learned from the class, I can finally um, learn a lot from those online info from those online information um, to learn a lot, to gather a lot of more information um, apart from those courses. So in short, what I have learned in FinTech program really benefits me during my internship experience. And I also hope to do a lot of FinTech related to research for my final year project and during my future career path. And if you have a lot of um, some questions related to internship experience, you can feel free to ask me. And um, I, and, and I think um, the next hearing student, Xu Xiang, will also share you more about his experience for you. And thank you. Uh, Jade and Glenn have already talked a lot. So based on that, I'll add some points from my perspective. So to be honest, I'm not a typical science student, also not an art student. So pure mathematics or pure literature study could be a struggle for, uh, could be a struggle for me. Uh, maybe that's most of you, but I don't know. So basically for me, I got two options to choose from, which is engineering faculty and business school. Although then FinTech jumped into my site, so I don't have to trouble myself to decide which department to go. It's a perfect choice. Combine two hottest major, computer science and finance. So 
um, if you can't make a decision like I used to be, FinTech program could also serve as an interest detector for you. Since here, you have to take a variety of courses, ranging from programming to finance, economics, even law courses. Uh, but don't worry, it's all a package. There's some basic knowledge you have to learn. So um, after one year, you could make your choice again, whether to put more, more focus on technology or on finance. Yeah. Mm, so if you want to be an engineer, you could take more courses on programming, algorithm, operating system, etc. Or um, after one year, you said, oh, oh, programming makes me want to die. I like finance more. Then take more courses on business, finance, investment. So it's totally free. Like Len said, it's flexible at all and depends on your interest and career planning. Um, so, you know, what's the advantage of FinTech student? Uh, Glenn has already mentioned it. That is, you are always the one who is best at programming among business students, and also the one who knows most how to invest stock market among programmers. So by the way, nowadays, programming is a hard skill. Whatever major you choose, if you know how to write code, you will be much more competitive, and that's the reality. Um, by the way, what if I want to balance both? I want to be exactly FinTech student. Yeah, that's nice. We have state-of-art topics for you. Like uh, Professor Lee has also mentioned AI, machine learning, blockchain, cryptocurrency, behavioral finance. They are all available for you to study, to choose from. Uh, so, also FinTech is a growing industry, it's an emerging industry. We need more talents, right? So like the Great Bay Area is going to release a great number of job opportunities. A lot of FinTech related startups are blooming. So now I work in a FinTech startup as a data mining engineer, because everything is new, it's totally new, I have opportunities to implement my new ideas with the help of the company's resources. So what, I, what I'm doing now is to build an uh, automatic stock trading strategy based on big data, and I try to implement uh, neutral language processing to detect crowd opinions on Twitter and get useful information. So it sounds uh, maybe impossible, but it's what I'm trying to do. So you guys are young and young people have to believe more. Like you can make some revolutions in, in, uh, in finance through our technology. And that is what FinTech exactly mean the combination of finance and technology right so yeah I, I think it's enough that's all my sharing and thank you and wish you a, su a successful application yeah that's all <laughs>